So hi, welcome to our Rhino enclosure here at Peyton Zoo. My name's Jo and I'm here today with Stuart, who is one of our senior keepers on our mammal department. So who have we got behind us here today, Stuart? This is uh, Manny and uh, he is our male black rhino. Brilliant. Okay, so middle of September at the moment. So we've got a few uh, important days coming up in our rhino's world. So what are those important days coming up? Well, for, first of all, we've got Manny's birthday and uh, we've also on the 22nd of September got World Rhino Day. Going. Okay, let's start with the birthday first then. So how old's Manny going to be this year? Okay, Manny's going to be 19 this year. Okay, is that old for a rhino? Uh, no, no, that's uh, still in his teenage years. Um, so they can get to about 35, 40 years old. Okay, and we've got a second rhino haven't we? Who's, who's our second rhino? Uh, we've, also got, excuse you. Excuse you. Uh, we've also got Sita and uh, she's our female black rhino and she's 31 this year. Okay so middle of October for Sita's birthday coming up as well. Okay so that and World Rhino Day, do we do anything special when it's animals birthdays or if it's like the World Rhino Day? Uh, certainly yeah, we, um, we tend to do some enrichment for them. So um, enrichment is something that we change within the enclosure um, to give them something uh, new to look at, smell at uh, or indeed eat. Um, yeah. So generally we'll, uh, we'll paint up some boxes for, uh, for them so it resembles presents for them yeah. and we might put some little food items in there such as pear or some pellet or something. Like Brilliant and do they like enrichment? Um, yeah, definitely. They're definitely interested in it. Um, Manny particularly likes to crush the boxes. Um, we paint them so they're all nice bright colours um, and you do find him smothered um, in different coloured paints. So we have our rainbow rhinos. There's, um, there's an awful lot of things that we can use for enrichment. Um, scent is a really good one for rhinos because they do communicate a lot through scent. Um, so we can use things like essential oils or herbs, that sort of thing, to give them something new to smell. Fantastic. Okay, so for our visitors coming here to Paynton, so we've got the two rhinos, they don't live together, do they? No, no. Uh, rhinos are generally solitary and would, uh, would generally come together just to breed. Uh, they might stay together for about a month to make sure that uh, the breeding happens properly. Um, you find generally the males on their own, the females will keep the calves with them for two to four years. So visitors who are coming to Peyton Zoo then, if they, they know that they live separately, but how can they tell them apart? Okay, so um, Manny has actually got three horns, um, which isn't unusual for male rhinos to, male black rhinos to have. Um, and Cetus got two. Cetus horns are actually uh, longer and thinner, mm -hmm. um, and Manny's are shorter and stouter. Oh, okay. So, so what do rhinos actually use their horns for? Are they an important part of their day-to-day -day life? Absolutely. They, um, they'll they fight with their horns and they'll defend their calves from uh, predators with them. Um, but unfortunately, that is the main reason that uh, rhinos are struggling in the wild um, because of poaching for the rhino horn uh, for the uh, folk medicine out in the, out in the Far East. Okay. But, it, but I'm right in thinking it's just made out of keratin, isn't it? So it's, just, it's basically hair, isn't it? All compressed yes. together. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like your fingernails. Yeah, um, in fact, medically, um, you would get just as much benefit from eating your fingernails. Okay. So um, rhinos out in the wild aren't doing so great. So black rhinos have been around 5,000 of them left. Yeah, I think the last count was 5,600, which is um, which is actually going up. Uh, in 2012, there was thought to be only be about two and a half thousand. So um, they are recovering slowly, but they are still critically endangered. Is there anything we do, as well as obviously having the rhinos here at Paint, is there anything we do out in the wild to support uh, black rhinos? Well, we support conservation projects out in the wild. Part of what the zoo does is uh, become a revenue stream um, for these conservation projects. So we do send money out there um, to help, but we also do practical things like sending old uniform for the rangers to wear um, and uh, that sort of thing. So. So it's the, the project that we support is the Danbari the Danbari Wild Nature Trust, Reserve, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I believe one of the couple of our keepers have been out there as well before, haven't they, and, and just done some volunteer work. Yeah, that's right, and yeah. it's it's great experience for the keepers to be able to go out and, and see the animals in the wild, in their natural environment, um, and they'll pick up things that, that they can bring back to, to help us look after the rhinos here as well. Now, one of the things I did want to mention with these guys, in a way they are quite easy to look after aren't they because they have very clean toilet habits i think is the nice way of putting it uh, they're very habitual with their toilet habits yeah they like to uh, to defecate and urinate in the same sort of places again this goes back to the scent marking and the way that they communicate um, so yeah, you'll find that they do tend to defecate in the same places. Um, Manny um, likes to kick his poo around, whereas Sita is much cleaner and leaves hers alone. Of course, because she's a lady. Well, she's a lady <laughs> and he's a teenage boy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stuart, for telling us a bit more about okay. our rhinos today. 
Um, don't forget, if you like, share and subscribe to our videos, you can keep an eye on when we've got any new content coming out. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a bit more about our rhinos today. Thank you very much and do come and visit us soon.